Hey guys, this is David. Welcome back to my channel. Man, it's been a long time since I put out a video. Uh, I know, sorry. A uh, whole lot of stuff's going on. Lots of projects I've been working on. So, as you can see behind me, in the newly lit garage, because I know some of you guys have been going, hey, your lighting's horrible. Well, look at this. <laughs> much, much better. So, we have some, uh, or I have some really cool stuff to show you guys. So, as you know, uh, I now have the 2020 BMW X3M competition. And it was white. Now, it's yellow. <laughs> Not just any yellow though, it is the Inazitec Dandelion Metallic Yellow. And, <laughs> I'll post a bunch of pictures in this in this um, video so you guys can see all kinds of angles and and stuff like that but holy cow so <clears throat> where do I start holy cow so the uh, the wrap shop here in Oklahoma is under wraps and a huge shout out to those guys because they had it for a while but man they do phenomenal work so uh, their whole team work on this and it came out super awesome so um i'm looking forward to showing you guys the whole thing so the whole thing got wrapped in a nazitec dandelion metallic gloss yellow and then as you can see right there uh on the back we had the tail lights um blacked out they're not totally it's a medium tint it looks really dark in here but it's, it's a medium tint and then all the little, as you can see over there, all the little um, blinker things we had um, tinted. We had all the windows redone. It's around 10%, um, eight to 10%. And then we decided to do the handles black. And then of course all the trim around the windows were black, but the whole top of the roof, we did black. Let's see if you can see that, guys. Yeah, there we go. Whole top of the roof, we did black. Handles we did black. Check out these wheels. Holy crap. We had them powdered. These are the factory wheels, uh, the M wheels, but we had them gloss powder coated black. And man, they look good. And I was looking at some Vossums and I still may get those sometime, but kind of pricey. Uh, but man, these look good. I really like these. And so today I cleaned them up and I used the Dura Shine or the Dura Coating on the wheels to really make them nice and dark. And uh, man, it made a huge difference. So, uh, and I've shown that in one of my other videos, <clears throat> that Dura Coating, really good stuff. So those are nice. So the whole car, like I said, is yellow, handle is black. Now the side mirrors were already black, so didn't do nothing there. Even the front windshield, uh, was tinted just a little bit um, Now these side deals right here. Those are already black uh, We tinted the fronts uh, But a light tint. It's a very light tint uh, just to give them a little bit of um, Blackness I guess to them or a little a smoke color, I guess So let me take you around this way The garage is a little tight two-car garage now the front See all the little black accents? Oh man, I mean, <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna try to post uh, just some photos uh, in this little video so you guys can really see uh, me walking around it. Probably doesn't do it very much justice. Uh, so I'll show, uh, or I'll put some videos uh, with some music or something like that in this, in this video, just to show you guys what uh, this thing really does look like. Now, this color, it seems like it changes with the sunlight. So it's got some goldish, um, bronzy, orangey tint to it. So it's not a bright canary yellow, but depending on the light, where it's at outside, my, 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 it looks so stinking good, so stinking good. Now, and because of the color, I know, it's an attention grabber, but you know what? If y'all followed my channel, you saw my Tesla, it was an attention grabber. It was not normal. It wasn't like everyone else's. So, um, 
and that's what I wanted with this one. So uh, definitely not like everyone else's. Um, I did see one on, online, a video a while back that gave me the idea of this. They did some things differently than I did on this one, but let me know what you guys think. But uh, I love it. I love it a lot. I love it, the color. Um, it's so different. I told the wrap shop, uh, they better not wrap it in the same color, any other car. Uh, better not see another one of these on the road. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm only mad and we're gonna do something different. <laughs> so let me take you around to the back of the car and uh, show you what we did there. So this back thing right here. So we, we kept going back and forth what we're gonna do with how we're gonna wrap it. Uh, we knew that we wanna do this under part here in black, but we wanna do this black too. We just couldn't figure out exactly what we were going to do with the yellow so we end up tying the yellow stopping here and then doing all this um in black to match with the top so we were going to do this little section in yellow and I, we saw that on another one that was okay uh, but this is the way we went on this one so i really like the way this came out a lot but as you see the back again see the tail lights Nice and dark. Now here's what's really cool. I'm gonna take you down here. So if you look here, around the tailpipes, we did this whole bottom section black. I don't know why from the factory, they don't already make that part black anyway. It's going around the, the exhaust. Um, but nice touch from the wrap department. Rick and those guys at Under Wraps. Um, so yeah, that's definitely gonna be black. And then as you can see right up there, Kinda, yeah. We got the logo, the X3M competition. Had to go back up there. I'm not a big logo guy, uh, but um, usually on all my cars that I've wrapped, I, all the decals, all that crap, I, I leave off. But this one, because it's a competition, it's gotta go back on. <laughs> so, but man, I tell you what, I love it. I couldn't tell you anything else I would change on it. I love my lighting. <laughs> so for those that haven't seen my garage, let me take a quick tour. So we got the new logo over there in the wall. We have the uh, Cox reel over there with the vacuum setup. Right above that, we have the cool cleaning rubber glove holder thingamajigger. <laughs> we have now this new little uh, tray. I had uh, a friend of mine, he's a welder, make for me to put all my little cleaning materials in. And then down there, you can see we have the little buffer. Um, I finally touched up the red, so now we don't have all the white crap on there. And over there, um, we still have the charger uh, from the Tesla. So, hey, it's never know, I may get another electric car at some point. But um, anyway, pretty clean uh, garage. Love this lighting. Hexagonlighting.com is where I got this, guys. So, um, if you guys are interested in that, they didn't, they didn't give me a special deal or nothing to say that. So if you guys are looking for some cool garage lighting um, that doesn't cost an arm or leg, they are super awesome to work with. Um, I got all mine designed, shipped, and installed super fast, like within a week or so. I mean, it was super fast. Uh, and I believe they're out of the UK. So. Hexagonlighting.com, try those guys out. Uh, big shout out to those guys. Again, they gave me nothing for this because I just got a hold of them and ordered myself, installed it. Um, it was fun installing it, I will tell you that. But back to the car, 2020 BMW X3M competition was white, now it's dandelion uh, metallic yellow. So what do you guys think? Uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, I know I sure as heck do. I got lots of plans for this thing. Um, not much more on the exterior. The one cool thing I am gonna do is I still have the stock, I'll show you this. You may be able to see it with the lighting. I still have the stock blue calipers. Not a big fan of the blue. Uh, I may know the factory did that. But I'm going to put, I'm gonna take, there's a, there's a uh, tires place actually down the street from my office. And uh, they do custom painted calipers. So I've got a little piece from the wrap actually that I am going to give them and have them wrap 
uh, or not wrap, <laughs> have them match the paint or the, or the wrap material on the caliper. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, that should make those things really, really stand out. And I'll show you that to you guys when it, the whole thing is done. But man, again, guys, I am in love with this car. Um, love the interior, because again, that's why I bought it. But like I said, I've had the car in the shop for quite some time getting wrapped and I can't be more stoked. I just got it back yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> so, um, man, it's, it's so much fun to drive and now it looks so stinking good. Now it does catch a lot of eyes. <laughs> so I'll have to watch out for uh, where I'm going with this thing. But man, I love it. I love the color. So tell me guys what you think. Uh, I'm not going to drag this on any longer. I got lots of cool, more cool videos coming out uh, with this vehicle. Again, I'm going to do the calipers. And I think that's really all I'm going to do on the exterior. Then I'll start working on some other things with this car. But just fun, fun car to drive. And this, this garage is super cool to work in. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. If you guys have subscribed, subscribe, because I got plenty more videos coming out. Uh, my wife finally got her Rubicon, and uh, I'll show you that to you guys, and um, got rid of her other car, and we just put the new top on it, like mine, the um, on my Jeep uh, Mojave, where it's got the, uh, oh, I have the Sunrider. She got the, uh, what did she get? She got the Mopar one, and uh, it turned out really good. Matter of fact, <laughs> hers is, Super simple to install. It took me like 10 minutes and mine was much longer. So if you guys ever think about getting the uh, the top for the, the Jeep um, that folds back, get the Mopar. <laughs> so anyway guys, hope you guys have a great day and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.